Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of XCOM Enemy Within the Long War. So, last time we were here, we were able to miraculously finish a terror mission, the first one we've ever seen. So that was pretty exciting. I was expecting it to go down in flames, but we actually came through pretty much unscathed. So, let's scan for activity here and see if we can find anything else awesome in this adventurous area. We have a foundry on the way, so maybe you... Hello. We immediately found a medium UFO, but... Apparently we have no planes, so ignore that contact, and hopefully nothing bad happens. He flies around for a bit. Okay, Ogre Jensen's back on duty, and... Okay. This doesn't look good. We've got ourselves a little, little UFO over here. Let's scramble the interceptors and see if we can do something about him. We only have one. Jensen, I need you to come through for us here. Take the aggressive approach. Get in there with those avalanche missiles. You don't need to kill him. All you need to do is do enough damage that he can't take down our satellites. I bet you that's what he's going to do now. Hit him. There's damage. Don't let him hit you, though. You got to hit him again at least, otherwise he's going to shoot us down. Well, you hit him twice. You're massively damaged, so you're going to be gone for like a month, but... We have our foundry. Okay, that might be good. Let's see if the foundry has anything good. Mag pistols give you... crits. Crit chance on pistols? And shift suppression is shift suppression. Okay, well that's not exciting. That's nowhere near as nice as I was hoping it would be. Let's... scan for activity. Do we lose the satellite? No. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so we were able to damage it enough that it couldn't shoot down our satellite. They also, Japan wants to give us two scientists for six sectoid corpses. Absolutely, you can have those. Thank you very much. All right, laser pistols, maybe? Commander, no council, council mission. Oh, boy. Transmission coming in now. Let's go see what they want. A bomb disposal mission. Oh, boy. I've heard these are vicious. We've received a number of eyewitness reports claiming aliens are moving through a neighborhood in a major Nigerian city. Although we've yet to establish a motive behind this activity, we must treat all reported incursions as a serious threat. Central will provide further details once our troops reach the affected area. 241 credits and a panic reduction in Nigeria. 241 credits is a pretty nice reward. Let's launch this mission and hopefully not get utterly murdered in the process. Who are we going to take on this mission? Let's clear all these guys and we'll set up a squad for this. We're going to want to bring some high-ranking soldiers and some lesser-ranking soldiers, I think. Of our lieutenant corporals, who do we want to bring? Maybe Campbell as our scout? Actually, I want to bring Jimin Chun. So we'll bring her. I'll bring one more of our higher-ranking soldiers. I wish I could bring Nabil again, because he's great, but I think we're going to resist the urge. I'll bring one of our sapper engineers, because that might be useful here. And so we have a engineer and a gunner. Let's bring some now specialists for everything else. Majid, you're coming as a sniper on this mission. We're going to need an, a rocketeer. Let's bring Suleiman, maybe? Let's bring Suleiman on this mission as a rocketeer. Who else do we want to bring here? You have a scope on you still. Hmm. We have a rocketeer, an engineer, a gunner, and a sniper. We're going to want somebody who can move in close. So a scout or an assault. Let's bring an assault this time. We haven't brought one of them in a while. Let's bring Robinson here. That'll get us some run and gun, which might be super useful. And what else do we want to bring? Maybe a medic? We haven't brought a medic in a while. Let's bring Martin, maybe? Let's bring Martin. Veronique Martin. Okay. So let's go through these people make sure they're properly equipped. Our assault is not properly equipped. He does not need a laser sight with that shotgun. So let's give him ceramic plating instead. Good. Suleiman, as our rocketeer, you basically have the right gear. As our sniper, do I have another scope to give you? Because I should. I don't see it. Let's give you a laser sight and we'll get you a scope in a second we make items available. That should do it. You get the other scope here. 10 aim is awesome. I should really make more of these, but we don't have a whole lot of money right now. Whoa! No! Bomb disposal. Come on! In the wrong spot. Cleared my whole squad. We look forward to seeing your oh, and it didn't keep them either. That's annoying. 
I was in the middle of making a squad there game. Ugh, oh, Chi Min Chun, you were coming. Okoro, I think you were coming? No. One of our engineers was. Was Roberts coming? I think it was Roberts. Was it Roberts? I don't even remember now. Um, we were also going to bring our medic, Veronic Martin. That's annoying. Silly little glitch caused it to clear out the entire thing. We we're going to bring a sniper. Let's bring Majid again. He was the one we just picked. We were going to bring a rocketeer. Suleiman, I think. Yep. And who else we were, gonna, were we going to bring? I can't remember now. An assault, I think. Thomas Robinson? Yeah. Okay, so we have Robinson, Suleiman, Majid properly equipped, Martine properly equipped, Roberts properly equipped. Actually, know what? Roberts, I'm going to switch out your flashbang for some AP grenades. On the off chance, they come in super handy here. And Gunner, you're going to want to change your gear a little bit. You're going to keep the flashbang. But you're going to take a laser sight, I think, since I have nothing better to give you right now. Alright, so that'll have to do. We have two lieutenant corporals and four specialists. It's going to have to do. We have three flashbangs and a couple other grenades if we need them. Let's do this thing. I have a feeling this is going to be utter chaos. Especially since bomb missions are all about moving forward constantly. And since it's a council mission, it's going to have a ton of yeah, thin men, which the means that you're going to get acid, down. which means we can't move forwards. <laughs> this might be a disaster. Let's begin the assault and see what happens. Listen up. We're going to be Port Harcourt, in Nigeria. Nigerian interior for the next operation. All right, well, let's see what happens here. Can we make it through without getting dead? I don't even know. We have a medic with us, so we can heal people of acid if we need to move them in a hurry. So it's probably a pretty crucial element here. Hopefully it'll also help them heal damage, but we'll see. Let's get down there. Alright, there's a pod. That's good. Don't see much here. Or there. Can somebody get over to here? Majid can. I don't know if I want him to be there, though, because he's our sniper. Let's move him and see what happens. Oh, Shen. We know how this works. We know. Let me push controls again. Thank you. All right, nobody else can actually make it over there except for Majid. Which is unfortunate, because I don't really want Majid to be there. But I'm going to stick him there anyway, and he's going to hunker down. I mean, hunker down, I mean steady weapon. Just in case we find something. Martin, I want to move you guys up a lot, but I don't know how much this is a good idea. Let's move somebody who can get to this wall, but no further. Robinson, you can get to here. What do you see? Doesn't look like there's any aliens immediately here. Let's move up. Alright, I like this. Let's push forwards then. Martin, you're gonna move way forwards. Solid copy, Commander. Awesome, Veronique. Good work. Jeff, you're gonna move up as well. You should be able to get over there no problem into that high cover. Sapper is what I'm kinda of relying on to take out enemy cover and such, so we have more or less free reign over the enemies. We'll see how it works out though. Send Suleiman into here. We're probably going to check this door before we go too much further. Jimin Chun, you're going to book it over to there. Your movement range is not great. But you are pretty accurate. They may have heard us bash down that door. Don't see anything yet though. All right, well, let's send Suleiman over to here and see if maybe we see something. I need to know where more of those pods are, too. Is there any out here? Doesn't look like it. That's not good news. There's one in there. Okay, that's better than nothing. So, let's move up to this doorway, then. Get over there, Jeff. We'll send Martin over to here. 
we'll send our assault over to here. Kind of disappointed we don't actually have a shot with anybody, but honestly, we just need to move. So, Chun, you're going to move up to here. We're going to bust through this door next turn. Oh, there is a pod over here. That's good to know. There's one right there. We might be able to get that one later. Let's get Majid up with the rest of the team. Otherwise, he's going to be just plain useless. And vulnerable, too, which we don't like. All right, you're going to steady weapon, Jeff. Suleiman, you're going to overwatch because you can see out this window. Martin, you're going to steady weapon as well. We'll see what happens here. There appear to be enemies right in here. Uh oh. It definitely sounds like there's enemies right in here. Don't know what's going on, but I like the sound of it. Let's open this door. Nothing. Well, that's no good. Let's open this door. More nothing. Really, game? Okay, well, we need to move up then. Let's send Majid over to the meld. Because he can grab it, and then he can steady weapon. I could move him on the roof, which might be a good idea. Might move him up there next turn. For now, we're going to steady weapon in here. Roberts, you're going to book it over to here. We have three turns until the game explodes. <laughs> Effectively, anyway. Let's move Martin up to the door over on this side. I don't really like this, but we don't have a whole lot of options. Chun, you're going to move over to here. We should be able to get to this one if we swing around this way, so I'm not too worried about that. Robinson, over to here. Is there anything else around this side that we can sneakily see? Oh, there's another one right there. Okay, we got a couple options here. Still no aliens, though, which I don't like, so that means we're going to get absolutely plastered with aliens in the next area. I hear alien footsteps. Don't see any aliens, though. Sounds like they're right on top of us. Like, literally on top of us. Alright, let's take a peek. Robinson, open the door. You found... Oh, a Thin Man and a Seeker. Oh, good. Alright, Thin Man's long gone, so we can't do anything about him, but let's see what we see when we open this door. Anything else? Nothing else. Alright, well... We need to grab this meld, or rather, a uh, bomb defusal timer. Hello! Okay, well that's not good. Three more Thin Men hiding right over here. We should be able to get out and do some damage to them, but we're not in a great spot right now. Also, that thing can see you. All right, we'll disarm the bomb. Thank you. We need to book it around this corner and hopefully do some damage to these guys. But that's exposed too, isn't it, to the guy on top. If I move you over to here, what do you see? You have one exposed shot, a long bomb a long way away, though. Excellent. That's another. It's only a 51% chance. Not good. All right, well, let's see. What can we do here? Can we do anything fancy? Not really. I can't move you up to there. Can anybody get anywhere interesting here? Really? To Martin, position. move to there. Can you shoot up at this guy through the truck? You can see something. You have a 40% chance to hit him, which will not kill him. Can you flashbang him from here? No, the truck blocks your throw. Hmm. This is not good. Not at all. Not by any metric you care to apply. Let's move Jimin Chun over to here. She can see him now. What's her aim? 55%. That's pretty good. She should give hollow targeting as well. So let's take the shot. She hit him too for 6 damage. Wow. That is a good hit. Alright. Well, Suleiman, you can make it up to here. And you might actually want to take a shot. The problem is we're so clustered together. We're really at risk of getting blown to tiny pieces. Roberts, take your four damage shot. If you can hit him, that'd be great. You missed him. Somebody's got to hit this guy this turn. Otherwise, we're in some serious trouble. Martin, take your shot at him, 50%. There we go. Somebody got him. I figured with the hollow targeting bonus, somebody would get him eventually. Uh, we're going to send Majid up onto the roof over here, though, so he'll get a better shot sight line in the future. Copy. Moving on target. And hopefully we don't get dead. All right, he's good. Apparently he saw an enemy, but I'm not sure how. 
as he ran through here, he saw something. Suleiman, I might move you over to here, but you can't see through this cover. Robinson, you have two enemies in sight now. 42 and 51. There was an enemy right here, wasn't there? I thought there was. Take the 51% chance, I guess. Get a lucky kill if you can get it. Not today. Alright, that's not good. Suleiman, you're going to come around the corner here. You're going to overwatch for us in case they come towards you. I don't think you'll be able to see them unless they come over here, but who knows what they're going to do. Good thing you have an overwatch ready. You missed him, though, unfortunately. Alright, well, there's a Seeker on one of our units, on our Engineer, I believe. The Womp. Alright, well, he shouldn't be too hard to deal with. Don't shoot him. Ow! Three damage already. Thankfully, thankfully with the Panic Resist. That cover has not worked out too well for us. He's just gone. You gotta stay over here where the fight's happening, dude. Alright, so what... Do you see anything, Majid? Probably not. Nope. You're blind as a bat. Okay, Robinson, you can move up point blank and kill this guy, but then you're gonna get shot in the back. I don't like this one bit. Alright, Martin, what's your shot at the enemy you can see? 83% chance, it's probably only gonna do about 2 damage. That's pretty good odds, take the shot. He did let go, which is good. Of course, the enemy then ran into hiding, apparently. What's your aim here? 85% chance to kill him. Don't like wasting my saw shot on that, though. I might use something else there. Can I get you around to here and do some damage with that saw instead? Let's move you to here. You can't see him? This is not full cover. This game, I tell you, it cheats. It just cheats. Suleiman, you're going to move into here and you're going to finish this guy off for me. 100% chance to kill him. Do it. I take it back. It's not a 100% chance to kill him. It's a 100% chance to do literally nothing. Okay. Robinson, you're going to have to move in here and take a really bad angle shot at this guy because otherwise we literally cannot hit him. You can't hit him either. Okay, overwatch time then. Majid, you're going to overwatch just in case something crazy happens. Roberts, you're going to... I don't know. <laughs> you can't do anything anyway. If I move you here, you may be able to try and shoot that guy though. Nope, you can't see him, because you're blind. Okay, Overwatch then. Who knows what's going to happen. I could throw in a grenade, but... Oh, he's back in stealth mode. That's not good. Oh, he reappeared. He's going to shoot somebody. Ow! Four damage. Thankfully, we resisted panic. We have had the worst luck. And you can shoot us, but we can't shoot... No, he's just aciding us. You butthead. We have two turns until the bomb explodes. We're going to lose at this rate. There is a pod we have to activate next turn, but this is silly. There is no way this thing should have lived to this point. Stand here, kill it, Jeff. The odds of that are ridiculous. I guess I forgot that uh, Suleiman's gun has that damage effective, like the effective damage reduction, which is not what we wanted. Martin, you can't even get over to that thing. I'm going to move you over here anyway. You might as well heal yourself so you're less likely to die. Six health, though, is not a whole lot. You probably should have reloaded instead, honestly, but whatever. At least you're less likely to get killed now. Um, even if you had a shot, which you now miraculously do, even though nothing has changed from before when you didn't, um, you don't want to take it because you're going to take damage if you do. So, Robinson, you're going to run over to this thing. Understood. You're going to chill out over there. Majid, you're going to move along the rooftop over to here, where you should be able to shoot these guys next turn. Nope, you still can't see them. Steady weapon, then. Silly person. Suleiman, you're going to move up into here, and you're going to... Uh, steady weapon, I think. So you can use a rocket if we need one. And you're going to hunker down there, Chun. It's silly, but there's nothing we can do about it. Oh, hello. He's point blank on you and overwatched. Lovely. We have an enemy over here who uh, we should be able to shoot unless he kills us first. No, he didn't kill us. That's good. The bomb is now one turn away from detonation, though, so we don't have a whole lot of time to go deal with this. Thankfully, we can turn it off instantly here. And it looks like... Oh, there it is. And Seekers. And Thin Men. 
Lovely. Okay. Majid, you should have a really good shot at this thin man. 74% is not really good. Take it anyway, please kill him. You left him with two health. That is not acceptable, Majid. Nice try. Roberts, you're going to head over in this direction and maybe help somebody out with something. You can't see anything, though, so I'm not sure how useful you're going to be here. Let's move you over this way for now, maybe. Yeah, you're not going to be much good here, are you? Can you get a grenade in through here to where we know those aliens are? Yes, you can, actually. So we should be able to get the drop on them with some cheaty grenade tactics here. So this should do some damage to some aliens. Let's throw this grenade in here and see what happens. Ooh. That's a lot of good damage. Now we should be able to open this door and rush those guys. So, let's take you. You're going to come next to this wall and open the door. We know there's two invisible seekers in here, but there's also a thin man standing right beside the doorway. 43% chance to kill him. It's okay if you don't, because we're going to send our assault in there and make sure he dies this turn. So, Robinson, you're going to move into here. You're going to disarm this, and you're going to shoot him in the face. 100% chance for death. Good. Plus, you're far enough away you shouldn't be in the acid. That's what we like to see. Now, Suleiman, can you get around here and actually give some assistance? Probably. You can't fire a rocket in that direction because there's, uh, you know, everything in the way. But you should be able to get a shot in on this guy and potentially kill him. No. Okay, 49%. I guess I should not have counted on that. You should still be coated in acid, aren't you? Yes, you are. But I need to move you because otherwise you're going to die. So, let's move you into cover. Can I get you there in one action? No. Well then. Since you're covered in acid, you're also much slower. That looks like there's a seeker right there because I can't move into that tile. Hello. Alright, well, let's run over here then. Thankfully the acid did not actually cause us too much trouble. We made it around the corner. This guy is backing up. Okay. Gonna shoot at our exposed soldier? No, you're suppressing them. Okay, what is the other... Oh, hello, Seeker. And you're on the Engineer who nobody can see, of course. You're moving up. You're gonna take a shot, aren't you? You're gonna Overwatch. Okay. That's not so bad, honestly. Unfortunately, this is bad, and we can't do anything about it right now. That suffocation is gonna be a problem. Robinson, you can get out here and take a shot at him, which might not even work. But I can run and gun you and make sure you can shoot him. So let's... Let's move you to here. We need to disarm this bomb, but Martine can do that this turn, I think. You can see him, but your odds are going to be low to hit. 83, that's not low. Shoot him. There you go. Man. We have been having some hard times here. Martine, you're going to move into this room? You're going to get that thing next turn. For now, you're going to reload. So you have gun. Gun, you have bullets available. So you have gun. All right, you're going to overwatch there, Majid, because for some reason you still can't see those guys directly below you. Jeff, you are going to overwatch. Suleiman, you can't do anything. Chun, you're going to hunker down. Suleiman, you're going to overwatch back, can you? Oh, you don't have any ammo. Okay, you're going to reload then. Never mind. You know what? Can you just rocket them? Okay, turn the camera, then aim the rocket. You could land a rocket right there, which will probably kill him. It might scatter a little bit, though, which might mean it doesn't do anything to him. I'd rather not blow up our sniper, either. Because if it gets a little bit of a deviation there, it might hit up on the, up on the wall or something. A rocket here would be really nice, though. Now we're just going to reload you. You've been pretty good at not getting murdered up until now. You gonna stay there? Oh, he is. That guy's dead. All right. He just put himself out of cover for some reason. Possibly because we hunkered down. Here's an Overwatch from Majid directly down on his head. Probably not gonna hit him because he's too close, but we'll see. Come on, Majid. Ah, oh, yeah. There's the miss. That was kind of what I was expecting would happen since they were directly below him. But you never know. The height advantage might have made up for the uh, the range problems. And another Overwatch. Okay, I'm fine with that. 
I don't really want to activate this bomb, but we kind of have to. The problem is, on the turn that we do, I'm guessing that they're going to throw 5 million enemy units at us. A ton of more Thin Men. Disarm the bomb, thank you. Well done. It's not the ideal solution, but it's what we got to do right now. Suleiman, how do you not have him exposed? He's so exposed right now. New objective received. All right, well... Let's take Majid. What's your aim, Majid? 54% finish this guy off. Try it. Good. That's what we like to see. One less enemy. All right, now we need to get around here to take out that guy, but we also want to make sure that we're not super abandoning ourselves to whatever else happens here. We know there's going to be a bunch of new people spawning in. So, Roberts, you're going to overwatch. Suleiman... I might just get you to rocket him this time. It might honestly be worth it here. Because they're going to spawn a ton more Thin Men, and I want this guy to be gone. Especially since he's a squad leader. I'm guessing the other ones are not going to be that dangerous. Chun should have her abilities to act returned after this turn, so we're going to hunker down her. As much as I'd like to overwatch with her, I don't think it's a good idea. Robinson, I really want to use you as well, but I think I'm going to need your run and gun abilities to clear somebody out. Also, there's going to be a ton of overwatches in a second, which is kind of really terrifying. So maybe I should run and gun with you now. Let's, let's do that. We'll run and gun with you now. You might get shot doing this, and please don't die if you do. But let's dash, so you should have extra evasion from dashing. Don't kill him. Good, shot the wall. Since there's going to be a billion overwatches, it's going to be hard for us to move. We might as well take advantage of our movement now to kill this guy here and now. 100% chance to hit him, 70% chance to crit him. Thank you for critting him. That would have been really awkward if you didn't. Oh boy. Martin, you're going to come back over to here so you can at least see out, maybe. You're going to be in trouble, though, I can tell. And Suleiman, you're going to overwatch. With your carbine, of course. Oh, that guy's still alive. I forgot all about him. That's bad news. Thankfully, he can't shoot us this turn. Okay, new roof enemy. Hello. He's exposed, though, which is interesting. Enemy on top of the car. Is nobody going to shoot these guys? I guess they're too close to us. Enemy over in the corner. How many more of these guys are you going to throw at us? Overwatch. There's one. Suleiman, kill him. Nope, four damage. At least you did damage to him, so you can finish him off next turn. Is that all? <laughs> he says there's a billion sec uh, enemies who just spawned in. One, two, three, four. Okay, that guy's going to be a problem if he gets around the corner. How do we want to do this? We can use grenades if we need to. We have AP grenades and stuff on hand. How can you not see him? He's literally right around the corner from you. I swear this game makes your soldiers blind sometimes for no reason. Martin, you can see two enemies. You can see the guy on the roof and the guy there. Take the shot at the guy on the roof, because you have a better chance to actually kill him outright. You might get killed for this. Oh, come on. 83% chance miss. Not good. Majid, you have an exposed enemy on the roof. Kill him for me, please. Thank you. At least somebody can get work done right here. All right, Roberts, you have a shot at something. You're probably going to shoot this guy. That guy's dead now. We have one, two, and three. If you have to move to shoot that guy, though, I'm going to be so mad. Chun, you should be able to kill him. You have a 100% chance to kill that guy. Well, yeah, take it. 100% chance to kill the low-health guy is not as important as 100% chance to kill this guy. Because uh, our Rocketeer... Nine damage crit, nice. Our Rocketeer should have a good shot at killing... Are you covered in acid again? No, it doesn't look like you are. Good. Our Rocketeer here should have a 100% chance to kill this guy. That's good. I think that's all but one dead now. Robinson, what you're going to do is you're going to come over to here. Okay, got something over here. You're going to get shot, aren't you? Oh, lucky miss there. I forgot he was overwatched. I was just trying to get you into a position where you could potentially throw a grenade at him, but I forgot about the overwatch problem. Can you flashbang where he is from here? No. Okay, well, that's not good. You're going to reload this turn. Roberts, you don't really have a clear path back to the squad. You're going to be running through acid if you try it. Ooh, I don't like these things. Not at all. All right, well, what are we going to do with you? I can put you there, but that's probably going to put you in acid. I can put you here, but that's going to leave you exposed to the Thin Man over there. Let's move you over to here for now. 
And from here, you're going to overwatch. You should have a chance to kill that guy before he gets a chance to kill you. He's pretty far off anyway. He's not going to get that much of a shot at you. He might shoot Majid, though. Don't you kill my sniper. Yo, you coated him in acid. And you apparently blew up that door as he tried it. So he's going to come out, and he's going to shoot somebody who's exposed. This is going to suck. Don't die. You missed. Oh, the low shot. Did you, hang on, did you shoot the person in the car? Because if you shot them instead of the exposed person, you have to be incredibly stupid, but... Oh, thank goodness. Every so often, the game blesses you with a low-odds shot that should have killed somebody, but miraculously doesn't. I think that was what just happened. They had probably like a 98% chance to hit that shot and missed it. Oh, man. Majid, you have a 45% chance to hit and kill this guy, even though you're coated in acid. I might get you to take that shot, just in case. Martin, you might want to come out here and try and add your ability to kill this guy. I'm not sure what we want to do about the guy down the hill here. We might rocket him, just to get rid of him. Robinson, I could move you out very much exposed. But I don't like that, because then you're very much exposed. You don't have your run and gun again yet. Suleiman, you can shoot at the guy right next to you with a 64% chance to hit him, but the odds of you killing him are very low. Chun, you can move to here and have an incredibly high chance of killing him. Or you can stand where you are and have a 50% chance of killing him. Problem is, if I move you out here, you are exposed, and this guy will shoot you in the face for it. If we can't kill him this turn. So the problem right now is this guy. If we can kill him, the rest should be pretty easy. Majid. Moment of truth, dude. How's your 45% chance shot while panicking? Not good enough. Do you panic this turn? You do panic this turn. Don't you move from there. Just hunker. Good. Okay, that was what I wanted him to do. Now, we take Roberts. We move Roberts over to here, where he's exposed. Oh. If we move to here, we should be able to grenade this guy. That's kind of what I'm thinking. No, he's too far away. Can we flash? Can we H... H-E? That alien cover is so good! You have a 24% chance to hit him, 24% chance to hit him. This is no longer a good situation to be in. Okay. Now we have to make some suboptimal moves. Very much have to. Let's move you over to here, Robinson. You should be out of that guy's line of sight. You should be able to insta-kill this guy, no problem. Please do not fail me now. 100% chance, 70% chance to crit. Thank you. 9 damage crit on there. The other... The other... The other blah, 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 blah. This guy can't see you. Suleiman, if you fire a rocket from here, can you hit him? I can't... Camera, what are you doing? Two tile scatter on potentially hitting him. If we tile, scatter two tiles, we could potentially miss wildly. So that's not going to work. Chun can't move far enough forward. Suleiman can move to here. From here, she can take a shot. 49% is not good, but it might be enough to injure him and make him run back because he's no longer supported. He's probably just going to spray acid at these two, though. So I'm going to run you over to the car now, Roberts. Chun, you're going to come stand here, and you're going to overwatch. Martin, you're going to come stand... Oh, I don't know what I want to do with you. Martin, you're going to come stand here, and you're going to overwatch. Last Thin Man on the map. He has a chance to kill one of us here. Hopefully, that's not what happens. He moves into the roof. Oh, don't you dare kill Majid from the rooftop. Oh, oh. we have gotten so lucky. So lucky. The chances of all those shots missing us are basically zero. The random number generator gods are strong with us today. At least we know where he is. Unfortunately, Majid is panicked, so he can't take a shot. But Roberts, with the grenades, should be able to move up and finish him off. So let's move Roberts over to here. I should be able to throw an AP grenade up onto the roof right next to this guy and guarantee his death if we need to. Can we get somebody up there who can actually shoot him? No, it doesn't look like it. Maybe Roberts can run and gun there? No, he'd be able to get up, but wouldn't be able to actually kill him, or probably even see him. Let's run and gun anyway, though, see if we can get this kill with something other than explosives. Because the thing is, if the explosives fail, then we're in trouble still. Alright, what's your odds? 25% chance. Shoot him anyway. That's what I expected. 
Oh boy, the problem is, there's an easy, easy probability of us not being able to kill this guy and getting absolutely ravaged by him instead. Martin, up on the roof, do you have a shot at him from me over here? You're probably too far away, but let's take a look anyway. Yeah, too far away. You're gonna overwatch from here then. We're gonna try the grenade. AP grenade, you have sapper, this should kill this guy directly on his face. Kill him dead, save us from the incredible luck that we've had so far failing us. Good. Seven damage, success? Success? Yes! Okay, man. We were so close to death a couple times there, that was incredibly lucky. I think that must have been, like, two 95% shot misses. Maybe 87 from the distance. They were pretty far away, so it was probably like a 10% chance to miss that happened twice. That was amazingly lucky. Oh, bomb disposal. 12 aliens killed. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Let's get back to base and celebrate. That could have gone so much worse. Everyone got injured, I think, but nobody died. Oh, boy. Any promotions happening? Two promotions. Majid got a promotion. Congratulations. He gets to choose between Low Profile, Gunslinger, and Lone Wolf. Majid, I think I'm going to give you Gunslinger. You're going to become our special operative, I think. Our covert op. Here you go. Gunslinger. That'll be good for you. Suleiman, as a Lance Corporal now, congratulations. You can take either Heat Warheads, Rapid Reaction, or Covering Fire. Hmm. I think we go for Heat Warheads again. Being able to do extra damage to robots is important, so we'll take the Heat Warheads and see how this plays out. Actually, you know what? Only Martin actually was injured. Everybody else only took damage on their armor. That's amazing. We did some good work in there. Alright, eight Thin Men corpses, one Illyrium, two Alien Alloys, eight Weapon Fragments, a Meld, and two Seeker Rex. Okay. And 241 credits and Panic Reduction. We Wonderful. Touch, so Nigeria no longer has any panic. That's right, they're cleared out entirely. That's pretty sweet. Germany and Canada are still pretty panicky, though. We really need to get some satellites going, but we can't even do that because we need to dig out some space down here to put more satellite uplinks in because we, we can't really use this one. Got labs in there. And I don't know, I might have made some very bad decisions in my placements here, but we'll see how it works out. We'll see how it works out. So, we have got ourselves through another debacle here. <laughs> we have a plane ready? We have one plane ready. Tex is ready. Alright, well, we are going to have to end this episode here for now. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. This has been an absolute chaotic mess, but we survived and pulled through. So I look forward to seeing you guys next time, and hopefully we'll continue our successes. Until then, bye bye